there's been this issue with big team battle within halo infinite since day one that's just completely ruined my experience with it and that is the pelican drops and apparently 343 states that they fixed it by stating here that pelican vehicle drops in big team battle have improved to deliver the same vehicle for both teams at the same time so let's click on big team battle let's go play it and then we'll find out did 343 actually fix this let's talk about why this was such a game breaking issue for this mode call me an old curmudgeon old man but i just don't believe things until i actually see them especially when it comes to halo infinite oh the sniper rifle spawns right here now oh i like that a lot okay that's cool oh my gosh there's a Banshee just spawns on the side of the map too you could just pick it up off the map and there's a vehicle there's a tank and oh my goodness guys you might actually be able to play with vehicles now in halo infinite's big team battle mode which is just crazy to think about i know one more there we go glass cannon man you can't just ram your vehicles into the other side of the base man when you do that you're asking for trouble oh my gosh we're about to get trouble cap here in about three seconds so that's one thing i actually did not know about big team battle with this update is that they actually made it so then prominent vehicles spawn on the map so you can actually play with them because for me the biggest issue with these pelican draws was more to the fact of just that you always had to fight for like whenever a tank would drop in or just like this tiniest little vehicle that would come in to give you somewhat of an advantage like a warthog even you'd have half the lobby waiting underneath it waiting for it to drop and then you all have to wait see who was the closest or who was the luckiest to jump in it was incredibly frustrating but now it seems like they might be mixing it up a little bit which i'm like yes i appreciate that a lot and i'm look i just realized this too we're spawning with battle rifles in our hands right here this is not the btb that i remember right now which with these pelican spawns there was definitely a benefit and also a downside to them the benefit being that once these pelican cops came in okay here we go we got a rocket hog coming in see if our uh, the teammates or the enemy team decides to get a pelican as well another one see like you gotta make sure your power weapons are taken care of before you just start ramming a vehicle to the other side of the map man there we go see they got a rocket hog too look at that okay things are looking balanced there we go just line it up and take the hit it's kind of oh my god a tank no way okay well I'm starting to feel like things have improved with the experience of Big Team Battle. You can actually jump into vehicles now because they spawn on the map. It's the big difference is that like, like I was trying to get into saying with the Pelican drops, like once they drop in, people are like, yeah, jump in and get it right away, which is great. Seeing game vehicles getting utilized a lot, but the problem that can come with that is the fact that as everyone's jumping on it at the same time to me it just like never really found it be a useful thing to just everyone pile up and try to see who gets lucky to grab the vehicle i'd much rather walk around on the map and find someone else to kill potential downside though when it comes to having on vehicle on map vehicle spawns is that people forget to pick up the vehicles and utilize them and stuff but uh i certainly don't forget so when i see a tank on the map i am absolutely grabbing it like that right there okay take advantage of your situations oh my gosh i'm just the anti-banshee boy tonight and there we go dude this is so cool being able to use a vehicle a tank in big team battle who would have thought no! now am I, am I playing like a variant of big team battle where like this is just one of the one of the game modes within big team battle right where you spawn with a battle rifle and you have like vehicles that spawn on the map so you can actually play around with them or is this just btb now because if that's the case i'm all for that and the pelican drop thing i'm okay i'll roll with it just as a mechanic in the first place just because it's something different and i'm like sure why not have some fun with it but when you had pelican drops that were not even and they dropped off at separate times it just ruined the experience for everyone really because sometimes the other team would get a tank and then your team would get like a bonkers and it was just like not even close to being a fair experience. Now this is a social crazy mode, right? Balance isn't like optimal thing. The fun is when it comes to big team battle, but you also have to make sure that the fun comes from also being able to just have like a match where like our team is versus your team and we'll see who is the better team. A little bit of a fair competitive advantage. Fair competitiveness to it is what I'm looking for. Hey, we got him, all right? <laughs> 
<laughs> and he was so hell bent on getting me. Well, if the Pelican drops, if you had such a huge power swing between the two teams, I've had it happen so many times where the other team gets a tank, we get a mongoose, and they win because they got that tank, not because they are better than us or we just suck at the game or something. No, it's because they got the best thing in the game. Got my hand in the banshee here. This is probably not gonna be what I should be doing, but I'm gonna try to make it happen. I'm gonna try to stay away from that thing. No! This is why you don't have me do this, man. Just just give me a gun, maybe a tank, and we'll, we'll call it good. Okay, so it looks like it was definitely a specific mode because here I spawn with an assault rifle and then a DMR. So it seems like it might be tied to whatever kind of map you're playing on at that moment for what kind of starter weapons you might have, which is like, all right. I mean, I understand like kind of mixing up a little bit, you know, kind of stuff. So it's not the same thing every single time. Ooh, that's a nice headshot. But then there's also the aspect of having like a little consistency of knowing like, okay, this is how I can play the game and oh my face. Also, this newer map scar is just a treat to view. I was playing Total Control, my favorite mode in BTB. I've seen rumors of people not liking this mode. And I'm just kind of curious why, because this combines the best parts of Strongholds, which is a great mode. And it also makes it into BTB, which is also just awesome to get this big team battle. So this one definitely feels much more like a standard BTB match that I remember playing because there were basically no vehicles on the map besides you got a ghost right there, but whoop de freaking do. Basically, it's just everyone playing infantry, which I kind of want to go back to the, the previous one we had because that was actually kind of fun with all the vehicles and the weapons and stuff. Oh, you're chasing me down like that? Nope. It ain't working like that, buddy. What were your guys' thoughts on Pelican drops in Big Team Battle? Me, personally, I feel like 343 is kind of doing the same thing. Oh, he got launched to the other platform. What a nerd. Let's do it again. There we go. No, he came back. Get him out of here. No. I feel like 343 is kind of slowly stepping back on their initial ideas. Going like, you know what? That wasn't a good idea. Kind of like me whenever I see Overshield. I'm like, let's go pick it up. And then I go, and then it goes, and then everyone's like, no, you shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. And I'm like, I instantly regret this decision. But in this map, well, we've been a few minutes in, and I haven't really seen any Pelican drops at all. Do they even come in on this map? Right back at you this time. We are now one for one. There's a Pelican drop. Okay, what's, it's all the way over there? What? Wait, no, okay, there's another one. They're both in blue. And it looks like a rocket hog this time, which I'm like very questionable on the rocket hog. A vehicle on vehicle does all right. Player on player, not so much. Do you think Cesar is saying we should go to B? Because he pinged it about a million times. I think I know what he wants. I will provide. I always gotta love those people who will just like ping a million times. Like, you idiots, go! And then I go, yeah, okay, I will. And then we all die. Like that, right there. That's exactly what I was avoiding. I'm trying to be a team player. Okay, we got a pelican drop here. Oh, that's a regular warhog. These are actually not too bad, but it seems like with these pelican drops now that they're not really as good as uh, we would hope them to be. No, I literally just got passed on for another warhog. You see how much cooler my warhog looks? Hell. Got a driver assist. Look at us. So we'll see like with this regular BTP mode, if Pelican drops are actually useful. Yeah, it's a little splatter there. Uh oh, teammates can't hit. Go down, go down, go down. And then a driver assist. Got another splatter, baby. The 343 is trying to slowly phase out useful Pelican drops. I mean, that might actually be a positive thing for the game. Oh, the zippity zap on the head. Another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, you thought you were being sneaky hiding around that corner? Not so much, buddy. You either. I got shotgun power. I got another one around the corner, baby. Get him off the map. Get his ass. No. Thought I was going to be able to do something cool that time, but uh, no. So the changes to big team battle, are they good? Did the Pelican drops feel better or do they play out better within the game? Well, they just seem to be way less impactful than they were previously, as it seems like they're pretty much just dropping rocket hogs and also war hogs. Nothing really much in between, at least from the matches that I've played so far. Maybe if I play some more games, we'll see something crazy happen. But from what I'm seeing, it didn't really seem like the Pelican drop changes that they made were really something that really fixed up the game a whole lot. 
I mean, it's really nice. Yes, having even drops at the same time, but most of the times when people do that, they just grab the same vehicle, run it to the other side of the base, and then they blow up. But at least now we're getting some more balance when it comes to the experience. We're not getting one team getting a tank, our team getting like a rocket hog, mongoose, or something like that, and just getting completely blown out. That's a really good change. It's the next step of 343 improving Halo Infinite, and I like that a lot.